guys, upper body workout today. New routine I've been starting three times a week. Um, I'm starting pretty light because I'm just recently getting into this routine. And you don't want, when you're starting a new program, you don't want to, and especially something that you want to do for a long time, you don't want to start too heavy because you'll plateau really quick. So we're starting very light here. We're doing three sets of eight on the bench with 185. And I'm super setting that with face pulls. Every workout, every push workout, upper body workout when I'm benching or doing any pressing in general, I like to do my warm ups super set with some face pulls to really warm up my uh, rear delts and just shoulders in general. It makes me feel really good. And uh, yeah, let's start. See, I'm benching a little differently. I'm not doing my typical, uh, you know, not super big arch, but bigger arch. I basically minimize my arch down to nothing. Only thing I'm doing is retracting my shoulder blades, um, retracting my scapula just to make sure that I'm still pressing safely for my shoulders. But yeah, basically I'm doing that just so I can get as much range of motion as possible because I am focusing on muscle growth right now, not so much strength in the amount I'm lifting. So uh, yeah, that's that. And uh, we're gonna get into the set now. Do 185 for a three by eight. All right, so that that was pretty easy. Um, it's kind of tedious doing the higher sets or the higher reps with the pauses, but. Um, I do believe that the pauses facil facilitate a little bit more uh, chest activation and that's my lagging point So really trying to emphasize the pause and you guys can see I'm kind of taking the eccentrics a little bit slower uh, So yeah, that's that felt pretty good. I might not record all the sets because I'm running short on time right now There we go set one So as you can see there, very, very controlling with it. Um, yeah, I just took like a 10 second rest in between the previous set. All I did was I threw my shirt off, I put some chalk on my hands and I just started recording the set. So uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the studies don't really show that taking super low rest intervals improve um, hypertrophy, but since I'm, in, I'm using such a low weight and percentage of my one or max, I might as well just try to get my work capacity up a little bit, uh, make this more of a, you know, high fatigue kind of workout. So. But basically, when I start getting heavier and heavier with this weight, like let's say when I get to 225 for 3 by 8 I'm going to be resting like 5 minutes in between the sets. Not, not so little like I am right now. But uh, yeah, that's that. I'm going to get the last set now. And then we're going to go to incline. All right, finally done with that. Let's get to incline. Again, we're doing three by eight, but this time it's touch and go. Um, again, I'm using very light weight. I'm doing, I think, 145. And uh, just keep in mind, guys, my all-time best incline is 275, so it's obviously a very low percentage. But once again, I'm not trying to plateau very soon. I want to keep doing this for a long amount of time, get as much, you know, get as much uh, out of these movements that I can because they're very good mass-building movements. 
And uh, yeah, that's that. Incline. So as you can see, pretty easy, really focusing on the pump, really focusing on the squeeze and the execution of the lift, not just moving point A to point B. Um, so yeah, I think I'm only gonna record one more set of this because I'm, once again, like I said, I'm running low on time, trying to get this done as fast as possible. Um, yeah, so I think I might've mentioned this at the beginning, but I have two days and I do this routine three times a week. So what I mean by that is I'll have slight exercise variations. So Rather than doing the pause bench press three times a week and the incline three times a week, I'm not going to be able to recover from that, especially once I start going heavier. So what I do is um, every other day I'll alternate between a lighter variation. So today I'm doing a... So I was saying, uh, my, my camera cut out, but basically I do um, a lighter variation on my other day. So I'll do something like a spoto press or a three second eccentric pause bench which is in itself very light loading, so it gives me a chance to recover and not burn out so quickly. And also with the increased exercise variation, not plateau as quickly. And also on my other day, I'll do overhead press rather than incline. So uh, yeah, that's that. Now we're gonna move on to weighted dips. This is the one constant I do keep in all three days. I, I'm trying to, I'm doing a three by eight on weighted dips, just trying to get as strong as possible before I plateau. And when I do plateau, I can either deload and uh, start going back up again, I could uh, change a variation, so I might do ring dips or weighted push-ups, or increase the volume. So uh, yeah, that's what I'll do. But for now, I'm I'm going very fast on this. I'm increasing weight every week very fastly. So uh, yeah, that's that. Let's get on to the weighted dips. All right, so there we go, guys. Only show you one set in the accessories, but I hope you guys get the idea. So basically what I tried doing on those, rather than adding weight, because I'm not trying to um, get too heavy with them, I'm really just trying to focus on the squeeze, you know, feeling the muscles and shit. So I'm just trying to add volume. So what I'm doing by that is just adding reps until I get to reps of 20, then I'll add sets. So that's gonna take me a while, obviously. But uh, yeah, there we go, guys, that's the workout. If you guys wanna see my other day, let me know. But I hope this guys, uh, I hope this workout kind of helps you guys set some of your uh, own routines up, your own programs, if you guys want to do so. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys like it.